Hi there, I'm Miles Peterson, and you're watching The 3D Engineer. After only about two months of hard work, I requested a miniature Federal Signal 2001-130 siren is officially completed. And here it is. This is by far my loudest and biggest siren, excluding my miniature 2T22, which I will not be counting because that siren's a bit obsolete at this point. But, uh, this, this thing is huge. The whole siren here is maybe an entire foot and a half tall, just for reference. This is also a very realistic, uh, replica of the 2001. Uh, I just thought, this is a very, this is a very, uh, well-known siren, and, uh, you guys wanted it, you voted it, and here it is. I'm so glad, I'm so glad to get this video out for you guys finally. So I have not uploaded in a while, and this is why, so I hope you can all understand that. I'll try to keep this video on the shorter side, just because I want to get this thing finally out. So, uh, without further wait, let's do an overview and test of the siren. Alright, here's the Mini 2001-130 up close. This thing is just massive. Man. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't mention this earlier, but this is actually a fourth scale siren, which means that this is just a quarter the size of the real thing. So, uh, this is definitely very big. Uh, here I have my Mini Model 2, and this is also a 4th scale siren. I'll, uh, try to make, uh, more 4th scale sirens to kind of go with this collection I'm starting here. But, uh, actually, these are in scale this time, so, uh, I have some minis up there. That's the rest of my collection. If you haven't seen videos for those already, I recommend checking those out. But, uh, those are not in scale, those are in the 1 8th scale. And I originally said that they were in the 1 9th scale, and, uh, 8th scale is actually a little more realistic, so... Uh, 8th scale also works out, too, because it's, uh, it's twice as small as these, so it just keeps things simple, so, uh, I just, I like having those two scale categories, so, uh, I wanted to make a big 2001, and here it is, so, yeah, these two are actually in scale, and Model 2s are smaller than 2001s, of course, uh, but this is actually, this should be pretty proportionate, so, these guys are huge and loud. Now, setting the Model 2 aside, let's focus on this guy here now. Here we've got the rotator. We've got, not authentic stickers, those are recreation, I made those. But, uh, you know, pretty realistic, pretty realistic stickers for the rotator. And we have them on both sides, there's the other side there. And I'd just like to say something about the bottom here, and that is that this, <laughs> I have this giant block of wood here. I just spray painted it white so it wouldn't look as ugly. But I've got my rotator plate just screwed down to that hard. And I've got little tiny screws there. I've got uh, I've got little fins on the side here keeping that strong. Uh, the real thing doesn't really have those there, but for the sake of stability, my gosh, I, I needed to have that there. So that's that's why I have a pretty elaborate uh, stand for this thing. So I recommend using a little piece of wood here. Uh, I can't give you exact dimensions. I'm not quite sure what they actually are, but uh, this should be like maybe uh, five or six inches uh, by five or six inches. It's just a square. But yeah, these screw on. The general screw size for the siren is, I think, M3. So we have a variety of long and short screws. And uh, here's the horn. Uh, this thing is screwed on with just six uh, M3s. Here's the Federal Signal logo. Uh, that's also a printout that I stuck on there with sticker tape. Here's the uh, stator and the horns of the stator, I guess, or throats, if you will. Those are called throats, now that I remember. And here's the box of the siren. If I can get a glimpse up in there, you can see the rotor, maybe. There it is. We've got, I call this part the collector ring tube, because my collector rings, or slip rings is their proper name, uh, are right there, so the collector rings are up there, just like the real siren, and the wires drape down and into the rotator. Now just to show you all what the inside of this looks like, uh, here I've taken off the back panel at the top of the siren, and I've taken off the rotator panel, and uh, I think we'll start with the bottom here. At the bottom here I have my uh, two uh, DC to DC buck converters, uh, but short name for those, I just call them motor speed controllers, because that's what they do. So these are hooked directly to that barrel jack over there, which plugs into either 9 or 12 volts, but it shouldn't matter because these are actually voltage regulating, so... Uh, but I recommend running this at at least 2 or 3 amps because, my goodness, does this siren take a lot of juice. Like, my gosh. Anyway, back there, I have a TT gear motor. It's very standard, very cheap gear motor. Uh, it's very suitable for this siren. It can, it can do its job just fine. There we've got the big gear, 
Uh, the technical name for that's the spur gear. And uh, the small gear back there, which is a bit hard to see, but it's somewhere back there. We've got it hooked up to the gear motor, and that's the pinion gear, or just the small gear. But anywho, that all rotates the top of this. This little ring here doesn't rotate, that's part of the top of this panel here. Uh, but from here there, this rotates. It's a bit stiff because these gears are, are tough. And uh, you'll notice this is, <laughs> this is a bit wonky. And uh, yeah, the back of this does rely on this, this panel here because this sags because of the crazy weight of the horn on the front. But there's absolutely no sagging at all once I pop that back panel on. So that doesn't become an issue as long as you have this on. Here's my slip ring. Wires go down there to the voltage regulators. And then from there, it goes to this little tube. And uh, oh, I'll try to get back here so I can show you. That is the motor cover, that little piece in the middle, and this is the cone. And uh, inside there, the wires are hooked to the motor. I can open it up pretty easily, but there's a lot of screws. And, uh, well, it's pretty self-explanatory what's going on in there. Then I have my motor glued to the stator so it doesn't wobble. And then it hooks to the rotor. And uh, watch this, I can actually hand spin this, just like a real thing. I don't know if you heard that low purr, but it was loud. Here, I can spin it louder. Oh yes, actually, if I don't hold this, I can spin it really fast. It just might be wonky. Anyway, that's satisfying. That's, that's what you want to hear out of a very loud siren. All right, now I think I'm gonna just pop on the covers and give this thing its first ever actual test because well, I've tested it many times through prototyping. I've never actually tested this with every single part installed. So let's do just that. Okay, we've got the 2001 130 uh, hooked up to 12 volts, two and a half amps. It's all wired up and uh, it's hooked to my power switch here. I'll just be pressing the switch. Uh, here I have my decimal meter. It's, it's very close to the siren, so expect to see a high reading on that thing. It's already reading like 70 or 80 decibels or so just by me talking. So, uh, that should get pretty loud, just to show you how loud this thing really is. So, okay, let's just start with a short alert. Nice. Love the long wind down on this thing. All right, let's start with an attack. A uh, short attack, here we go. That was a, that was an extremely loud attack. I don't know about you, but I read like a hundred, I think a max of 110 decibels on the reader. That's loud. Well, there you have it. That was a bit of a quick overview and test of a miniature Federal Signal uh, 2001-130 siren. This was a requested siren by a lot of people. So a lot of you wanted this. Uh, a lot of you guys voted for it and here it is. So I'm glad I could provide this for you. I have good news, and it is that I will be selling Mini Sirens very soon, maybe within the next month. I'm planning to get that done, but I'm still not quite sure, uh, but a bit of an update on that. 
Also, for this guy, there's a high likelihood I'll be selling them, but maybe not immediately. Like, this will be maybe one of my later sirens that I'll begin selling. Because, uh, well, reproduction of this guy shouldn't be too hard, but it's just the time it'll take to put all the parts together and print everything, that can take maybe a week or so. So, it takes a long time to build these. Anyhow, we're still going to keep it short, but just a bit of an update on that. Uh, I was very, very excited to make another fourth scale siren to pair with my Model 2. And uh, here it is. I'm so glad. The stickers came out great. Even the stand, it's a little wonky, but it held this thing just fine. I'm Miles Peterson, and you stay creative.